Welcome back to VBAR 101. I'm Frederick Mellin, aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm gonna go over a little briefing about uh, external governor on electric helicopters, uh, the basic concept of it. So here I have a test setup uh, where I have a uh, battery, speed controller, receiver, my VBAR, a motor and also the phase sensor that reads the RPM from the motor back to the VBAR. So what we're doing here is basically putting in uh, the speed control. Normally you have the governor inside here in a program. Now we're lifting out that program into the VBAR and to be able to make this work we need this phase sensor or a magnetic sensor works as well. Uh, on the main gear like nitrous, but we need to know what RPM the motor is running at. So when we do this we need to switch over the speed controller into what's usually called airplane mode but should probably be called direct throttle control, meaning when the V-bar sends out the pulse of the throttle the speed controller must react quickly. And that's also why some speed controls will work and some won't. And this Scorpion has um, a uh, delay on the throttle which makes it bad for the V-bar or an external governor. Uh, same thing goes for Jive. Uh, the jury is still out on Castle, I'm working on that. But the faster response the speed controller can do, the better governor uh, the V-bar can work. Um, what I'm doing now is something that is only in setup mode, meaning it's only in setup mode when you enable a certain uh, configuration mode, you get this direct control, which I'm going to show here. So when you're at the field and uh, uh, arm your helicopter, the V-bar will always slow down the spool up. It will have a soft spool up. Um, so, so, so there is no danger uh, for what I'm gonna show uh, that can happen in setup mode. So just keep that in mind. Show you. So we have basically a um, direct control. Now the V-bar is in control of the throttle, and with this it comes great responsibility because. Uh, this is basically an arm loaded gun that you tweaking the trigger. Um, to show you, to illustrate that, if we do, I'm gonna start up my motor a little bit so I don't go from scratch. So I'm gonna hit the switch here with accidentally, in my case, uh, reverse the throttle and bam! This is a slow speed controller. It took about uh, one, two tenths of a second from uh, very low to full RPM. Um, with a different speed controller that's instant. And uh, then you can think if, if that was sitting on a helicopter uh, where the blade is hitting your face, it would be really bad. So always, always, either like I do here today, have a separate motor that you run when you do testing and play around with the governor uh, or if you don't have that extra motor back off the pinion remove the pinion last option remove both main blades and tail blades and uh, make sure you don't have any fingers in the near area of the head then so why, why this i mean um the question this speed controller has basically the same information as the V-bar, so why run the governor in the V-bar? Well, that's because the V-bar also knows what's coming. Uh, the speed controller is blind. It just looks at the RPM seeing, oh, I got more load, I need to put out more RPM, uh, and so on. Where the V-bar can look at the pitch, it can look at the collective, it can either even go so far, so it's getting feedback oh rpm dropping output more and if it reaches max you can actually tell the v-bar to lower the collective so it don't bug the motor so it's very powerful in that uh, aspect and you will get good performance if you have the correct speed controller 
And the big question is which speed controller works and which does not. I'm not complete with my testing. When I am, I will post the findings I have done on which will be the best or best um, most most of them if they work in a certain way they are equally good there is though those that i mentioned the jive the scorpion and uh, maybe the castle i don't know yet that uh, has this delay you will get various performance uh, issues with it um, so uh, for those uh, it might be then it's better to run the internal governor i mean the governor inside the jive is not bad in any way so you don't benefit much from from uh, running external anyway um, one thing that you do get with the v-bar governor that uh, you had on castle for example is uh, auto rotation bailout which give you the option to to abort an auto rotation uh, with a short shorter spool up this face sensor I'm using is a uh, Hyperion face sensor uh, that actually comes with, uh, or you purchase it with a e-meter package, but they're sold separately. I think it's about 10 bucks. And uh, they work plug-in, plug-and-play, turnkey solution for V-Bar um, just by chance. I haven't got around to test many others. I know there is some German face sensors uh, out there that works. Uh, Ulrich and company running some other ones, but I had this at home, so I tested it. I do know that uh, Eagle 3 version is running a different voltage, so I'm not sure it's going to work. Uh, if it are going to work, it might be that you have to run the power to the sensor in uh, from another port, basically. So this is the basic concept of running external governor uh, on electrics. Again, I'm go into detail uh, in the following episodes uh, exactly how you program this in the V-Bar. I just wanted to cover